Wind's really getting up this morning. It's uh, Dad said it's supposed to gust up to close to 40 mile an hour. There's a storm coming in. They're talking for or talking about heavy rain the uh, tonight, and tomorrow, I think into Friday. We're uh, we're cutting back to cutting on this walnut today. You know the uh, last Friday. See over there where we're parked at. We had that uh, little breakdown with a skitter. I thought I thought it'd be something simple the way it looked. That the end cap just come undone. Well, it was a little more than that. Uh, yesterday we cut some pallet just real quick in the morning. Then yesterday afternoon I had to run to Springfield to grab uh, some seals and parts for that cylinder. And our mechanic's supposed to be up here later this morning. And we're going to try to get that thing put back on. I'm going to try to drag some logs this afternoon. Try to get some stuff out before this rain gets in here. So it's it's gusting pretty good. Just getting a little harder all the time, it seems like. But we're on the, like I said, the west side of the road here. There's just a few trees over here. This big burrow, you can see Rangers Park next to is one of them. That walnut Dad's cutting on is one of them. We don't think that tree there is going to be very good just by the swelled stump on it and how it's flared out. We were actually just talking before Dad got out about how that one next year is probably going to be better. This morning, first thing, we went over and we finished up cutting on the east side of the road. We did some cutting over there and uh, my saw that I've been using had been acting up and this morning it just acted up completely. Uh, Dad said it's the clutch that's going out of it, which it's not super common, but it does happen. It's just no power under a load. It won't, won't turn itself. So the way it goes, but we didn't have that many to cut over there, so we, we took turns cutting with that saw. Dad's going to lay this big one down here real quick. Hopefully it cuts good. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how it cuts. I'm really excited to see the big burrow here. That's a humdinger of a tree. I like cutting those big burrows. Dad's got her all bored out. I think he's going to start clipping it now. Well, I hear it popping. Of course, cutting this wind like this, this is a tricky deal. I Usually when it gets up like this, I don't even like cutting in it. Dad, he's a, he's a, well, he's a lot better cutter than I am. There's no way, way to put that. He's he's a little more comfortable in the wind than I am. A lot more experience. Like I said, I, especially on this walnut, I just don't like cutting it when the wind's up. When you're when you're talking these high dollar trees, you got some value to them. I don't want to run the risk of something going wrong, but Dad, he'll get right out there and punch him out and knock him down. He's about to go now. I think, we both think it'll be a little bad. Let's see if we're right. I hope we're wrong, but let's see if we're right. There was that much holding on it. There it goes. Yep. See the hole in it? We knew it. Far anything that goes.
knew it'd be bad. Yeah, I, I figured it'd be bad. We got the scooter back up and going just a bit ago. It really didn't take too long. I didn't even really, it went together so quick. There wasn't even any need in trying to get video. Anyway, I've come over here to drag logs and this whole, this whole track of timber in here, you know, it started off the first tree I cut. The first tree I even cut on the job was what I cut and it was bad. And that set the tone for the whole job. It just, everything has just went kind of south after that. We had to take a couple feet off this little thing here below. Of course, that one cut bad. This one here cut better than we thought it would, but it still cut a little bad. See this one here, cut a little bad. That one there didn't cut too bad. This thing here, which we knew it was gonna cut bad anyway, really cut better than we thought it would. Little thing there didn't do too bad. Let's set over there, there's some bad logs in there. It's just not a very good set of logs. And this, the, the, whole, the whole set's been like that. And generally when you're cutting down these creeks like this, we, we don't see, we don't see it. it it's very, very uncommon for, for the overall set to cut like this. Now you'll get a few trees every now and then it'll cut bad, that's to be expected, but for the whole run, cause I mean, it's, it really is. It's, these trees over there, they're the same way in that little pile. There's another pile on up there. We've got a pile across the road where we park at. It just, it's not been a very good set of logs. And I hate that. I hate it for several reasons. One, because I've got this bought on the shares. And there's pros and cons to buying things outright and buying them on the shares. Another gentleman looked at these logs and he was gonna buy them outright. And <laughs> he should be thanking me because I, I saved him a bunch of money. But I offered more on the share basis uh, and it would i mean he let me let me rephrase this he offered to buy them out outright write a check pay for them but he said he would also cut them on the shares well i just offered to cut them on the shares but i offered a higher share basis so the bad thing about cutting them on the shares or excuse me the bad thing about buying, buying them outright if you buy them outright you've you've probably lost a substantial amount of money because you're, you know, there's a few of them, like this whole big thing right there, it's got the lightning star, you know it's probably gonna cut bad. But some of these are just, you wouldn't expect it. Now this one here, the swollen stump, it was swollen enough, yeah, we kinda knew it wasn't gonna do very good, but I really didn't think it'd be as bad as it was. And I'll, we'll buck, we'll uh, buck that off, you know, up here high, take three or four foot off of it, and hopefully have a pretty decent lumber log above it, but, when you go taking three, four, five feet off every log, you lose a lot of footage in a hurry. In a hurry. Now, the only good thing about buying these on the shares is when you buy logs on the shares, if the logs do good, everybody do, does good. If the logs do bad, we all do bad. And I hate for any set of logs to do bad, but that's that's out of my control. It's, um, it's a rough go either way. Well, this wind's really picking up the storm and they say it's supposed to roll in tonight. I'm gonna go back across the creek and park the skitter. And I've got a few more things to do up here. I've gotta go out to the duck club and kinda of look at everything going on there. I hope you guys can hear me this wind, the way it's whipping. But I'm gonna to go to the duck club. They're supposed to be out there hauling our pallets. I'm gonna go out there and check on them, see how they're getting along. Then tomorrow, I don't know what we'll do. I have no idea because they're calling for heavy rain tonight and tomorrow, so who knows what tomorrow will bring. Let's go to the Duck Club. 